In the previous presentation, we created this adjusted trial balance and we listed all the different accounts of the company with their debit and credit balances, working through assets and liabilities and uh, equity accounts, revenues, and expenses. So we listed all of the company's accounts and you're kind of wondering what are we going to do with all these different accounts. Well, we're going to be moving on to the second last step of this accounting cycle, which is preparing financial statements, which are going to give us kind of a readable and understandable uh, view of the company as kind of a snapshot or a picture to kind of see how they're doing. So why would we need financial statements? Well, let's say, let's say this is Ninja Dave over here and he's kind of a user of financial information. Let's say he's an investor and he, he wants to invest in a company. Maybe he wants to invest in Apple, maybe Nike, maybe a completely separate public company and I don't have financial information let's say let's say I don't have any financial statements to work with how am I going to invest am I gonna just kind of look at the graph of one of these different companies and see that it's going up and oh yeah this is a great time I should invest right here oh no god no and then maybe maybe it's oversold maybe I should invest now who knows like it's really it's really unpredictable without actually analyzing the financials which is why we need financial statements so we're going to be going over the different types of financial statements because in order to actually actually analyze and kind of deconstruct these these financial statements you're gonna to have to learn how to actually construct them so we're gonna be going over in a sequential order of course uh, through three different financial statements and we're, you're going to see why we're going in sequential order because you have to always follow this order to prepare them. And we're going to start off with the first one being the income statements. And the income statement, of course, is our first statement. And it kind of gives us an idea of the performance. We got our Dave's Music Emporium, which is my company, I guess you can say. And we have an income statement year-ended December 31st, 2012 because that's the end of our fiscal period and the income statement gives us kind of an idea of how we're doing as a company for the year because it gives us an idea of the performance because we have revenues we have expenses and we have profit or net income and the way I constructed this was just by taking these accounts right here we have our revenues and our expenses so we've just we've just transposed all of these accounts and created this financial statement we've brought over revenue 2610 which is right there over here we've lined up our expenses listed them all underneath we summarized total expenses remember to always put a line underneath revenue expenses total expenses and to double underline the final number which is our net income and you gotta remember that term because that is not an account within our adjusted trial balance so net income gives you an idea of how they've basically done how they've basically done for the year and as you can see we have net income or a net loss in brackets and because we have it in brackets this is a net loss so we have not performed well for this fiscal year at all so now that we have the net loss for our company we can actually carry this number over and work on our second uh, financial statement which is going to be retained earnings because we need that net income number in order to prepare this statement which is why I said they always go in order so we have the retained earnings statement which uses the the balance of January 1st 2012 or the beginning of the year and basically what this statement gives us is it gives us an idea of all of the the earnings that we have retained or accumulated since the inception of the company which means the beginning of the company and we just continuously add each year's net income or the net loss and this will give us a new retained earnings number so as you can see I've just added the, the net income or the net loss and of course we're gonna subtract a loss which is gonna give us a a amount which is a retained earnings amount which is negative which is actually going to be called something which is known as a deficit because 
if retained earnings is negative, it's going to be called a deficit. And the point of the retained earnings statement is just to kind of look at the accumulated earnings and kind of seeing if we've paid out any earnings to shareholders. Because what I haven't added in this example is I haven't said that we've subtracted any dividends because this is also what you can include in a retained earnings statement if you look at one of a company because dividends are an outflow of earnings from a company. So that's our retained earnings statement and of course the reason why this is the second statement is because we needed that net income figure and the final one is going to be the balance sheet um, well the third one we're going to cover it's there's actually uh, four or five uh, financial statements but we're only going to be covering three in this tutorial I don't want to make it too long and what we're going to start off with is of course assets which is our first part of our balance sheet and we're going to just transfer all of those different assets which I've which I have right let me just create a new layer which we have right on this left side so these are all assets of course this one is a contra asset but it still goes in the asset section and I've listed them all here and as you can see our total assets are 606,900 and what this basically shows us the balance sheet is that is that it gives us an idea of the financial position of the company so kind of like what assets do we have and of course it's going to show us our our liabilities which show us any debts that we have outstanding like accounts payable or notes payable listed right here any revenue that we're going to earn in the future some salaries that we're going to pay soon and if I move it up even further you're going to see the the equity part let me actually let me actually get rid of this for a second I'll run here on the left side I'm just going to can't remember which which layer I created all this stuff on there we go and I'm just going to shrink this down so that you can see the equity portion hopefully you can still see everything I know we got HD 1080p so you should be able to see everything and like I said we have the equity portion of course which includes retained earnings because retained earnings is an equity account and remember that we came up with this retained earnings figure from the retained earnings statement which is why we had to create the retained earnings statement before creating this balance sheet and and basically using this balance sheet we can really analyze a lot of the different figures look at their assets liabilities equity we can come up with some ratios maybe like the current ratio which basically gives us an idea of how many current assets we have to current liabilities there's many different ratios we can come up with so basically learning how to actually create and transfer all these these accounts right over here from our adjusted trial balance like these these assets and then these liabilities and then our retained earnings from the previous statement you can construct your balance sheets and really analyze each of these different accounts separately and that way we can actually have an understanding of maybe investing in a company because with this information we'll actually have a chance with I'm just trying to create a layer here so I can draw something because with this information we're going to actually have a chance at possibly realizing benefits from our stock and actually predicting a good choice so basically I think that's all I wanted to cover we're going to be covering the cash flow statement separately since that is a more complicated statement hopefully you've uh, understood kind of the general idea of these different statements and I hope you kind of look at some of the financial statements of different public companies to kind of get an idea um, I'll see you guys in the next presentation we're going to be talking about closing entries if you have any questions regarding accounting or any other material within our videos, you can tweet us at NotePirate. You can like us on Facebook to receive updates or to share any quick anecdotes about how our videos might have helped. And like always, thanks for watching us on YouTube.